Hello everyone. In our previous session, we discussed SR latches that could be implemented by using NOR gates as well as NAND gates. We further saw SR latch by using control input or clock input. In this session, we will verify the states of our latches by using logism tool. So let's start. Here we discuss SR latch. It is uh, a simple, it has simple implementation using NOR gates, two NOR gates and it has two states. One is set state and other is reset state. So for set state, our SR and R are one and zero. And if even we change them from, uh, from one zero to zero zero, it would hold our set state. So let's say we put S1 and R1 in our logism tool. So here are here is our SR latch using NAR gate. I have uh, designed it already. So it has two inputs reset and set and two outputs Q and Q bar. Q means set if it is one and if Q is zero it means reset state. So let's say uh, let's start. Let's try to set our uh, latch. So I have set one for S and zero for R. So it's in set state. So now even if I turn this zero, one back to zero. So for zero zero input, the state is old and that is one and it's in set state. Even the inputs are zero zero. So for reset state, I have to turn reset one. Now Q bar is one and Q is zero. It means it is in reset state. It will hold this state even if I turn this one again to zero. So now for zero zero, the latch will contain the previous state that was reset state. So if we further see, there was an undefined state that was 1 1 when both our inputs are 1 1 so let's try these inputs so if i put one here and one for reset so now the outputs are 0 and 0 so q is 0 and q bar is 0 it means the latch is reset for both sides so a q is 0 and q bar is 0 so it's it's an undefined state whether to um, uh, conclude that the latch is set or reset we don't know. So this is uh, an issue with SR latch that there is a possibility of an undefined state. We further saw S dash R dash latch, but we uh, use uh, we would use term SR latch even for this one. We could we can implement uh, SR latch by using NAND gates. Uh, in this case, our inputs are reversed a little bit with complement. Now the set state is zero one. For set state, our inputs should be zero and one. S complement should be zero and R complement should be one. And one one would contain our save our previous state. So let's say here is the implementation of SR latch using NAND gate. So for zero one here I put S complement as zero and R complement as one. So it is in our reset state. Means Q is one and Q bar is zero. So even if I put this one so using NAND gates for one one it will contain or hold the previous state that was set so for reset state I need to uh, input s complement as one and r complement and zero so now our latch is in reset state means q bar is one and q is zero so even now if I turn this 0 to 1, it would save the previous state that is reset. But 
the SR latch by using NAND gate if I give it two inputs that are 0, S complement is 0, R complement is 0. So it will result into a, an undefined state. So now our latch is set and reset at the same time. So this is an undefined situation. So we try to avoid these kind of inputs 0, 0. So this is again an issue with our uh, SR latch by using NAND gates. Next, we saw <coughs> SR latch with control input. We added um, two NAND gates, one for S and other for R, and added an additional input C. We can refer it as clock or control input. So, if this is one, then our latch is active. If control is zero, it is inactive. So, here we can see that. Even if the clock is 0, then there is no change in the state. So if clock was 1, for example, and our latch was in set state, so we turn the clock to 0, it would hold the previous state. Mean no change means it would not change the previous state. And if the clock is 1 and we give input 0, 0, it again will hold the previous state. So here set state is 1, 0, S1, R0 and reset state is 0, 1. So for set state, let's say, let's put S1 and R0. Now here is an SR latch using control input. This is its uh, initial uh, function. E and E both outputs are E so we haven't given any input input to it yet so let's start our clock 1 and 1 1 S is 1 R is 1 R is 0 means it's in set state and you see Q is 1 means uh, it is in set state and Q bar is R Q reset is 0 so for 1, 0, it's in set state. So now I turn both inputs R and S to 0, 0 and clock is 1. It will hold the previous input that was 1. So now if I turn the clock 0 again, all three of our inputs are 0, 0. It again keeps the previous state that was set. So if even if clock is 0, it will hold the previous state our inputs are zero it will hold the previous state forever unless we change our inputs our power is shut down our power is cut now the next reset state was zero one so reset is one and set is zero so reset one and clock is again one that's it we start with clock 1, S is 0, R is 1, it means it is in reset state. So in reset state, Q is 0 and Q naught is 1. Now if I turn this off, so clock is 1 and S and R are 0, 0, it holds the previous state that is reset. Now even the if the clock is off, it retains the previous state that is reset. The third possibility like the previous latches is again undefined state. So if the clock is on and both inputs are 1 1, the SR latch will uh, produce an undefined state. So let's try this one. So clock is 1, set is 1 and reset is 1 and our latch produces 1 for Q and 1 for Q naught. So it means latch is set and reset at the same time which is not possible. So for this purpose we need to um, design some additional or some other circuit so that we could solve the undefined state issue. For that purpose we will move towards our D latch. So 
we will discuss dlag and its truth table in the next session